Hey YouTube, Some Kind of Wonderful here with your little known black history fact or black history that you don't learn in school, okay? Um, and today I want to talk about the Ankh. Um, so how many of you know what an Ankh is? Okay, so here's the thing about the Ankh and why I thought it might, it might be kind of neat to talk about the Ankh um, because in general, most people do associate it with a symbol that is kind of Afrocentric, Afrocentric, you know, um, maybe you assume that it represents women or um, divine feminine energy or the womb because of the loop at the top. And in case you don't know what I'm talking about, when I say onk, excuse me, hey, notebook, um, let me draw for you, an onk. It's a real basic onk, right? So, let's see. I'm not an artist. I mean, I am an artist, but I'm not like a drawing artist. All right. This is kind of a basic onk, right? So, I want to cover this because I've heard, I've learned so many different things about the onk over, well, in my time of learning stuff, right? So, the thing about the onk, it has this loop at the top, which some say represents the womb um, women. So, excuse me. So, it has this loop at the top, which some say represents the womb women, things like that. Um, I've also heard some people say, well, it's, um, it's an African cross. I don't know where that came from. Okay, I've also heard some say, well, it's an African version of the cross in Christianity since Christ died on the cross, right? So we have that as well. Um, but well before Christ, um, this symbol was being used, and you see it prominently on like many hieroglyphics in Egypt. Now I want to address something real quick because when we talk about black history, a lot of people tend to stop at, you know, um, when Europeans arrived in America, they brought their slaves with them, and that's the beginning of black history. Well, African history goes back a lot further than that. It goes into, um, you know, what happened before there was European encounter, and then even what happened way before that. I like, what I'm about to tell you has to do with ancient African history, and I'll say ancient Egypt for the sake of it being easier for everyone, but Egypt used to be called Kemet, okay? And so this symbol was very prominent in Kemet, and that's where it originated from, and then eventually people dispersed throughout the rest of the world, including our more immediate ancestors who went to West Africa and then were later captured and sold into slavery, right? Okay, so back to the point at hand, the Ankh. The Ankh, <laughs> the Ankh, I have one of these on my back. And I, I guess I'm pausing because it is just, it's, I, it's exciting to me. Did you guys know that in ancient Egypt, they had electricity? Yeah, they had electricity thousands of years ago. And it was right there in ancient Egypt. And, you, and there is um, evidence of it. And the tales or in the stories, in the hieroglyphs, on the walls, you know, in the images that are carved inside of pyramids, okay? And so the Ankh is related to that. Um, the Ankh, even though we use it as a symbol, it was an actual tool that was used to conduct electricity. Um, and I'm just going to give you a very brief little piece of it because I'm not an expert on this. But i share with you what I know, okay? So... The onk um, consists, as a, as a tool, this long part here, the bottom part, is a handle. And on top of here is what would be used to help conduct, use electricity, right? This is an ohm. Okay, do you know what an ohm is? Or maybe, maybe this is more... Um, Omega, right? So this is the Omega here. Or Omega is Greek, right? But Ohm, it comes from Ohm. And um, I don't know if 
it still happens nowadays because my bills are all online and I don't really look at them, I just pay them. But when you pay your electricity bill back in the day, um, and it might still be there, but back in the day, they would measure the energy and the electricity that you use in watts and ohms. And you will see this symbol. This is the symbol for how to measure electricity. Ohm, right? So this symbol is used for electricity because... The onk was a tool for using and directing electricity. We can't touch electricity because it will, you know, obviously kill yourself. But this is how it was used, okay? So you have the omega or the ohm, and then it had the handle to it, which is, um, creates what we call the onk, all right? So that's that. And don't let nobody else tell you otherwise until you prove it for yourself. Um, or don't let me tell you this <laughs> until you go and you research it for yourself. And I'm pretty sure you can just do a YouTube search and there's tons of um, anthropologists and archaeologists who do talk about this, both white and black, you know, um, from different mindsets, religious beliefs, um, who all verify that, yeah, there was electricity. Um in ancient Egypt or in ancient Kemet, use or in Kemet basically, and that is where our ancestors and most of the world's ancestors come from. All right. Oh no, there's one more. I was gonna wrap it up there, but yeah. So remember, I was saying Om, Om, right? So this is Om, and um, you know, in meditation, and you'll probably see it like stereotypically portrayed. They say, okay, what do you do? Om, right? So you make that noise. Om. And the thing about it, when you do make that noise, you feel the vibrational, you feel your energy. You can actually feel it if you are, I mean, you don't even have to like seriously concentrate. You just have to, if you um, bring it from down here in your gut or whatever, and you just do that, Om. You can feel it right in your lips. It's just, it's a vibration and what you're doing, you're vibrating energy. You're aligning your own energy and energy is electricity, okay? So we, we say ohm literally, which this is an ohm or an omega, right? And all of that is electricity. Okay, so I was a little, um, I was thinking about like, should I, should I share that or not? Because some people will think like, whoa, that's really way off in left field. That's kind of far fetched. Um, or is it far fetched? Have we just been trained to, um, assume that things like that or ideas like that, that ancient Egyptians, our own ancestors in Africa already had the capabilities of electricity. See you guys next time.